In this video, you are going to learn how to build up a list of questions that you can answer in order to get traffic back to your website. And I'm going to show you a secret strategy. Um, so get your pen and papers out because this is really going to save you a huge amount of time. So what you want to do is come into your profile and then you want to come into the topics that you've added that you know about and click on that. So for this example, I'll click into Facebook ads. And really what you want to do is come across to the most viewed writers. Now this is really going to accelerate the process for you and help you identify those questions that you can get a huge amount of answer views on. So what we're seeing here is the most viewed writers in this topic. That's going to be the same for any topic you click into. And I can see the top 10 writers or the 10 writers with the most answer views in the last 30 days. So really what we want to do here is identify those questions where they're getting all of these answer views from and then we want to go ahead and answer them. So let's click into this guy's profile and really the, 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 answer, the questions that he's answered and you can see that by default it shows you the most recent answers and that he's answered but we really want to click into the 30 day view so we can see how is he getting so many answers on, or answer views and we can do that by sorting it by 30 day views. So if we open this, we can see that he's the top answer and that's really where we want to be as well. Uh, we can see that this question only has 10 answers on it. So that's a low amount of answers for a question. That means it's easy to get to the top of it for. And then if we come down, we can see that this question has over 200,000 views. So that is why this guy is getting so many views on this question because there's not many answers, but it's getting a huge amount of views. And uh, supply and demand, basically, and that's why he's getting so many answer views, because it's not very competitive. So what we can do is really save this to answer for ourselves. And because it gets so many views and there's not many answers, then it's easy for us to get to the first spot if we answer and structure our question well, or even for us to get into that second or third position it's going to be pretty easy. Now, when you're looking at these questions, you could also have a look at not just the number of answers, but how good is the answer? And could you do it better than that they, they've done? And also something you might want to note is the number of upvotes. Now, an upvote is just when somebody reads a question or an answer, if they like it, they'll upvote it. And that helps to really push good answers to the top. Now, 13 isn't that much. Um, but we can even outrank maybe the second question with a low number of upvotes. So no, three upvotes is very low. And so even if we have no upvotes on our answer, we're still going to be able to get into that position pretty easily. So I've added that answer in. And now let's just go to the second question that he's got the most answer views on in the last 30 days. Now we can see he's not number one on this. He's number two here and um, he's got 15 upvotes but this question again only 11 answers and it's got 50,000 views so again that's a pretty good question that we could answer now let's continue on and maybe return to some of the other top writers from our group so let's click into to this Again, we don't look at his most recent answers. We want to look at his 30 day views to see where he's getting all those views views from. So we can come in here. Uh, 11 answers on this question, 13,000 views. So that's a good one. And once again, you need to be picking questions that you think you could answer and, and that would make sense for you to link back to your product. But 13 upvotes, not too much. And even the second answer only two so we could easily get to that second spot and maybe over time get to that first spot now let's go back and uh, maybe have a look at another question here so there's only three answers on this question six thousand views he's the number two with only four upvotes so again this is a great question that i could potentially add to my list and uh, you don't have to think about it too hard you can just begin to build up the list, answer questions and see how you rank. So you could go down through the top 10 here, see what is the question that they're ranking, that they're number one on and getting all those answer views from. So let's just do one more. 
30 day views. Why are my first Facebook messages being delivered? 50 answers and a million views. Okay, so this is going to be more competitive. Again, I would I would encourage you to stick to that. Uh, maybe 10 answers. Now what you can do is if you see that this is a good question, but it's too competitive, you could maybe look at the related questions in the sidebar here. And maybe you could answer these ones. So let's click into this. There's only 10 answers. There's 46,000 views. I can see the question and the top one has really no images in it. It's not formatted well. It's not very eye catching. It only has three upvotes on it, but it has 50,000 views or almost 46,000. So I can answer this later and uh, really stick to that. Less than 10 answers, low amount of upvotes in the top answer and more than a thousand views and the higher the better. You're always looking for that higher views with low amount of answers and that's really how you're going to get a ton of answer views very very quickly on Quora. So as you go through and look at those top writers and even maybe identify those related questions to, to add those questions, you're going to build up a list pretty quickly and you can come back then, click on answer and you can see these questions that you have selected to answer later and uh, that is how you build up a list of questions to answer very very quickly. So go ahead and try that for yourself in order to build up your list of questions.